Hey everybody, hope you all are doing well and welcome back. And today I am thoroughly excited. In fact, tickle pink, <laughs> if you will, because uh, I'm going to get a chance to try a whiskey that blends really two of my favorite vices, uh, whiskey and coffee, which is, of course, this McAllen limited edition and release 2022 Harmony Intense Arabica. So we're going to pop this bad boy open. Uh, we're going to give it a try and then try to give it a score based on its nose and on its palate and then also on its finish. And we'll talk a little bit about the prices as well as its availability. Now, before we get to it, though, if you like these reviews, if you like the wanders, if you like the hauls, the unbottlings, the unboxings, and really all the amazing stuff we got cooking up for you, we have tons of amazing stuff cooking up for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it does really help the channel to grow. And again, super thankful about that. But also you get notifications when our newest videos come out on Sundays and sometimes in between like this one. All right, now let's get down to the video. All right. So first things first, let's get the bottle out here and get it open. And look at that. That is a good looking bottle. Of course, it has McCallum written all over it, literally and figuratively, because I mean, it is from the McAllen Whiskey House, obviously. Um, but it's a cool bottle and it has this very like soft papery finish. Oh, that's really, really cool. Inspired by intense Arabica. Let's take a look at that and let's get it open. Oh, get a glass. Come on. We're gentlemen here. Not savages. Just give that a cut. Let's see if we can get a pop. Hey, that is a good one. And see if I can get a little bit of juice for myself here. Ooh. All right, so let's get an initial impression on uh, the whiskey there. Hmm. Ooh, that looks pretty good, right? It's got a much darker sheen to it than what you would normally expect uh, from a scotch. I'm guessing that's because of the fact of the sherry. We can uh, just look at it here. It is pretty nice looking. We can even say we sort of drink it with our eyes for a second. <laughs> the color I would describe that as maybe like a like a coppery kind of finish, darker than the normal scotch. You know, like that hay color, but definitely not like a brown or like a mahogany that you get with a bourbon or like the Michter's Ten that we did recently. Hmm. You can definitely see the sherry influence as you get that kind of red, rusty vibe to it. Hmm. Yeah, and the viscosity, it's pretty good. It's not super thick. It's got a nice silkiness to it and has some decent legs. Uh, and I think I would say the viscosity is, uh, we'll call that like a solid medium. Yeah. Hmm. Let's take a real quick sniff. Ooh, that nose definitely screams, hey, I'm in McAllen. I'm part of the McAllen family. Oh, it's got like that classic kind of McAllen graininess. But you know what? I'm not getting, huh. Not a little, at least right initially here, there's not much coffee aroma to it, but I get that <laughs> almost like a, like a Lay's potato chip to it. <laughs> That's interesting. Hmm. But definitely grain. Definitely you would notice it. Like it, it feels like that kind of graininess that if you ever live next to a brewery, you smell <laughs> you know, on Wednesdays when they're putting in uh, all the malt. So, hmm. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get a little more on this nose here in a second, and we'll talk about bottle facts while I'm nosing this. Now, thinking about the McAllen Harmony and the fact that it is coffee flavored, which it is not, but we'll get to that here in a second. Um, it, it would be easy to think that McAllen has sort of lost their mind, right? They've gone with the absolute vodka model of making a flavor of whiskey for everything from birthday cake to vanilla, to cinnamon, Jack Daniels, wherever you are. <laughs> um, and just kind of gaudy mixing of flavors, but that's not really what's happening here. Uh, the McAllen Harmony uh, Intense Arabica is inspired by the flavor of coffee. So it's not actually coffee flavored, but it's inspired by. So they use kind of the vast collections of the season's casks that McAllen has in their arsenal to create a whiskey that leans on the coffee side of the flavors that typically show up in these types of whiskeys. This is actually the second edition uh, of it, uh, the Harmony Collection. The first one, I believe, was more uh, cacao inspired, so we'll call it chocolate. Um, Trying to church it up too much here. Um, but this one is supposed to be centered around, again, intense Arabica. Now you can see that here on the box where it really kind of points that out pretty directly. 
Also, they had recently an event here in LA uh, at a coffee shop, which is kind of on the news, I guess, considering it's not coffee flavored, but coffee inspired. And I even had tickets to it, but the jet lag got me, so I ended up missing it. Pretty sad about that one. But these harmonies are uh, limited editions. Uh, they are also annually released. And I guess what McAllen's really trying to do is to have a kind of new perspective on what McAllen can bring to the whiskey table since they've been in the business so long. Uh, the ABV on this one is at uh, 44%, as you can see right there, which is more of a classic strength, I guess, uh, especially if you're thinking about scotch. Uh, for us folks who are on the Imperial measurement, that is 88 proof. Um, it is a non-age statement, so that we don't know how old the whiskey is. And of course, uh, it is a single malt. So let's do a deep dive on the nose here after I've gotten a little bit more going on. Uh, and you can tell it is definitely McAllen. <laughs> kind of like the Habsburgs or any members of the Sheen family. There is mistake, no mistaking it, it's McAllen's. Um, there's a strong kind of wet grain feeling there. Uh, and the overall nose on it is pretty manageable as far as strength. It's not overpowering at all. And the ABV is fleeting at best. There's really just not a much ABV on the on the nose there. Um, you get light sweetness, vanilla, definitely some sherry influence and vegetation. But again, not a whole lot of actual coffee. Uh, maybe it's kind of like green coffee beans before they're roasted. I, I could sort of see that. But I also get winter fruit. So maybe like, uh, what do you describe like a, the overripe airport lounge red apple. <laughs> That's what it tastes, smells like. Um, and it seems pretty well blended in the sense that there's no one essence that's a kind of outsized or sticking out or kind of misshaping the nose on this. So it, it seems relatively well rounded. All right, so let's talk about the nose score on this. So I think that often what I find with McAllen, since they are so popular and they are so ubiquitous and they're kind of sort of the standard for scotch um which means the nose on it well it's not exciting or interesting uh, because of the fact that it is the pace center it is what we sort of balance all the other scotches against and i guess what i'm getting at is that it's not really interesting or exciting <laughs> it is good it's pleasant i enjoy it um you know the nose on it is is decent and i do enjoy that grainy goodness that comes along with McCann. But it's just nothing really to write home about. Um, so I think that on this one, I'm going to give it, a, you know, a, a score of three out of six on the nose because it really sort of lacks any personality. And sometimes it is those outsized growths or those kind of <laughs> odd quirks within, uh, you know, a whiskey's flavor palette that gives it personality and kind of makes it enjoyable. Whereas this one's just a little too straight down the center. All right, so let's move on to the palette and the finish and see if the mouthfeel uh, gets any more interesting than the nose was. Hmm, let's take a first sip. Hmm, ooh, ABV definitely shows up in fours for, you know, what it is at 44%. Hmm, I like that. That's a, <laughs> that's a pretty good surprise. It's a nice char, a little liquidy for my taste, but still about a medium viscosity. And then, oh, it's gone, it disappears. Wow, <laughs> that was quick. Huh, interesting. Well, maybe it'll pick up after a couple more sips here. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about the bottle and the prices uh, while I'm sipping it here. Um, this one specifically we picked up uh, from one of our local liquor emporiums. Uh, we bought it for $229.99, which I would say is mid-range on the price uh, because you can find that total wine for $219.99. And 99 cents uh, even right now so it's not particularly a hot commodity um, probably because McAllen makes billions of versions of types of whiskeys um, and what that means is that for buying this at our local emporium we essentially paid over the price by about ten dollars or 4.5 percent which still not that bad and also we were able to get it before it started coming in to total wine so and I, I don't think I've seen it at Costco as of yet so after getting a bit more mm, taste on this uh, with my palate, let's say it loosened up a little bit more. I would say right up front, there is very, very little. I mean, if you close your eyes and imagine you're in a Starbucks, you can get just the slightest hint of intense Arabica. But more like, maybe even like the green leaf uh, rather than the roasted bean coming through. Huh. I do like the decent amount of ABV, uh, that burn that I get right up front. It just hits you right up front. But the overall profile for it feels pretty narrow and pretty kind of like 
undefined as far as not being complex or interesting. Sure, I'm willing to admit that perhaps there is some complexity here, but if there is, it only just comes in flashes because the flavor just disappears so quickly. And at that rate, it's hard to decipher whether this is just kind of palate static or complex flavors interacting and I'm just not picking it up. But I, I'm i thinking it is the former of the two. The juice itself uh, feels on the younger side, really honestly, maybe maybe 12, maybe 12-ish 12 on the high side, if we were to guess, um, which is, you know, young for scotch and specifically for Macallan. I mean, they have stuff that's super duper old. Huh, really the only thing that's saving it from complete mundanity is just basically the sherry influence that, that's floating around in there. And that, that's pretty good, but for the most part, sort of bland. Oh, and the finish is short. It just, <laughs> regards the flavor, just now you see me, now you don't. It's the magic man. So yeah, the only thing that really lasts is the ABV burn, which again, I don't hate. Uh, oh, you know what? Wait a little bit. No, no, it's gone. <laughs> now for the scores on the palate and the finish. So I have seen in the comments that sometimes I, <laughs> fairly and unfairly, am harsh to the McAllens, where I dote all over the Lagavulins, but I treat the McAllens kind of like they're redheaded royals, you know? <laughs> but it just, it just never seems to wow me. Don't get me wrong, there are times that I enjoy drinking McAllens. Uh, there are often times where it is the first thing that I reach for, also because the ABV is sort of low on it. But when it gets down to brass tacks, it's just not exemplar, right? Now, that being said, the palate scores, I'm going to give it, uh, I give it an 8 on the palate out of 15. And for the quick finish, without any lingering complexity, uh, I give it a 6 on the finish, which really puts its raw score well below the Macallan Rare Cast. You know what, let's try that. The Macallan Rare Cast that we had uh, tried previously, but let's let's give this one a little bit of a taste side by side. What is the ABV on this? So this one's actually at 43% compare. Get a pop. Nah, okay. Just a little, a little dab will do ya. Give it a cheers. Hmm. Hmm. The biggest difference I'm seeing between the two is the hundred bucks extra we paid for the rare cask. <laughs> so although the McCallan Harmony Intense Arabica may seem a bit down and out, let's see if we can get a boost from an individual who is <laughs> quite easy on the eyes, but uh, has a nose like a bloodhound. Let's see what the wife gives it. Wife score. Yes. Here's the rare cask. I give it the uh, plus 0.25. All right, so there you have it, everybody. Uh, plus 0.25 points. Uh, we're not exactly cutting hairs, but uh, we're splitting hairs, but kind of sort of splitting hairs. So, uh, so for the overall score for the McAllen Harmony Intense Arabica, um, let's see here. So we got a three out of six on the nose. We got an eight out of 15 on the palate, and then a six out of nine you that. Six out of nine uh, on the finish. Uh, so when we factor all that in together, we get a grand score of 17. Oh, and the wife score of 0. 0.25 yeah. points. Just It's more of a sympathy point, quarter point, is uh, 17.25 points, which is underwhelming for a bottle that is over $200 and comes from such a established whiskey house. But <laughs> let's face it, I'm sort of not surprised. So overall, I think the McAllen Harmony Intense Arabica is, we'll call it fair to Midland. Uh, it's got a great family name, like, you know, some of those unknown Bushes, the member of the Bushes families. <laughs> but it doesn't have that gumption uh, that I have come to expect from scotches that are kind of in the same price range or weight class. So would I buy it again? I don't think so. Uh, you know, first of all, this bottle is probably going to last quite some time, um, just because I don't foresee us drinking a lot of it quickly. <laughs> Um, and also, you know, it's not like I would buy it as a gift or uh, as for a business partner or an associate because it doesn't really have kind of the flash or the presentation that goes along with it, nor does it have the flavor. So uh, I'm happy to have it as a part of the collection because it'll be a nice counterbalance. But um, yeah, I don't I don't I don't think I would recommend buying it. All right. So that is our review of the McAllen Harmony. And I really hope that you enjoyed this uh, video. And if you did, if you like these videos, if you like the wanders, if you like the hauls, the reviews and really all the other great stuff we got cooking up for you. And we got tons of great stuff cooking up for you. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, that way you can get notified when our newest videos come out. Also, it is good for your whiskey mojo. I saw in the comments someone said that my video was good luck and they got two bottles of Eagle Rare at MSRP. So not saying, just saying. And then lastly, the channel to grow, right? And we're super thankful for that. Now, just remember before we go, if you do find a whiskey that you love, just buy it. Because if you don't, somebody else surely will. And even in this case, might even be me. All right, everybody, have a great rest of your week. I'm out and... Adiós.